Hey everyone, welcome to Figure Fantasy. So we're here to do a little bit of a showcase for a maxed out uh, Empress. And also we're gonna be combining her with a Frost team. See how she goes, what the mechanics are. And uh, let's check out the lineup with this first attack. Actually, I've been trying this out. Um, been very, very successful with the previous stages. Now that we're here in the harder stages, we'll try to finish this out. So off to off to the stage and let's see this lineup so initially this will be your basic lineup so i'm not gonna <laughs> to uh, uh tinker with this one so you have rin here rin has frost damage um in i think her passive so also we have empress of course at the back here as you can see she is in the same line giving crit to uh Vazerwin and to rin so next is uh, of course for empress she has frost damage buff to the team next is going to be zephyr zephyr is here zephyr has frost to can give frost to two random enemies ayani okada is the only one here that's out of her brand so if you don't have Ayani Okada, definitely you could bring Krosos if you want to bring an all Tenma team. That's not a problem. So you can swap out um, Ayane and put in Krosos. And the last one will be Vazerwin. So Vazerwin has frost damage to all enemies with her ultimate. So again, this concept is basically going to give you a a a you know a full decked out frost team. But, of course, there are other alternatives if you don't have one of these figures or two of these figures. Again, Ayani can be swapped in, uh, swapped out for Crusos. The rest, I will explain it. Or I will also explain the gears that I have equipped with them. So, let's try this one out. Okay, so, again, um, the concept for this team is um, put uh, at least three DPS uh, units. Uh, I would consider Ayana a DPS unit because of the damage that she brings. As you can see there, uh, that was Empress <laughs> decimating the field. <laughs> she really di dishes out a lot of ultimates, especially if she kills one. As you can see there, she's like a machine gun. <laughs> so, very big damage for Empress, as you can see. Let's move on to the next and... Uh, I'll talk to you about the other alternatives that you can put in your Frost team. Okay, so for other alternatives to the Frost team, you can put in Mako for additional... You could add Mako to your to your six-man team just in case you're allowed to do six. Um, I think I'm allowed to do six now. Sorry, I forgot. So can still deploy one more. So let's deploy Mako there. Mako additionally gives more crit to your team. Um, the other one that you can explore as well is put in Dead Master because again, uh, Empress is there. And the other one that you can explore is also Sani. You can put Sani in, but at this point, I'm not putting her in because for me what she just gives me is the is frost resist so for this time at six deployment i'm gonna use this lineup so with dead master in tow so let's see how this does okay so with additional crit with additional healing definitely this is going to be a massacre as you can see um, a lot of damage coming in Damage there, damage everywhere. Empress really does shoot a lot. Again, um, you'll be amazed what her gear is later on when I discuss um, the gear that she has. So, again, she is a magnificent uh, specialist. Hope hopefully, guys, you were able to, you know, let's just uh, drink... HP and let's move to the boss Okay, so let's see what she can do with the boss here. Hopefully we can clear this out uh, deployable zero. So let's go Okay, so again 
we are going to be relying on a lot of crit here a lot of healing and a lot of damage of course so at this point dead master is doing a lot of damage look at that hp bar of the boys it's uh goes down quick we're at five already and we're still good with hp at this point so far so good we're at four so there you go we're at two we're at one and the last bar is about to be out so again a lot of damage with the crits all around and there you go there you go guys so this is your frost team let's go over to the equipment for each of the figures that um i mentioned here okay let's start off with the subs i'm gonna i'm gonna start later with the with the what they call this with the main uh lineup so for if you want to consider crucis in your frost team you can he has to have lifesteal set and defensive set that's important the badges i put eternal valor badge on him you can actually put a you know a different badge but he has a adornment for a defender this is not exclusive to crucis you can put this on any defender so that is what i equipped him next is going to be sani i haven't haven't built sani that much um she doesn't have any any you know anything equipped at this point only an adornment and also this uh badge for frost so again for those who are planning to put in sani you can actually put her as the sixth one um but i'd like to to uh, add additional crit a while ago in the lineup so i did bring in mako for that matchup so moving on to the next which is mako which i was discussing earlier she's ready at five diamonds mako is is going to help you a lot because she gives crit she gives healing and she heals faster than zephyr so both of them will have to alternate heal heals at this point so you give her all hp set then you give her internal eden badge for a helper's exclusive so again simple kit she, does, she, she, she doesn't need a lot of you know beef in her kit she just has to have high hp moving on to dead master dead master is part of the sub anyway if you don't have her because i guess most most players won't you know won't be going for dead master because they cannot go towards the 200 um what i mean is here just gonna show you guys what i mean for those who cannot reach 200 this one um they if they don't have a chip that is 200 in quantity obviously they won't be getting dead master that is why dead master is going just going to be one of the subs but if you have her she's going to be part of your main team you're gonna have to swap out rin for her for damage um and again i'll show you the her built parts so lifesteal additional lifesteal for her sustainability that she does, she doesn't get you know she doesn't get killed easily then you have a defensive set for her and also you have an internal nightmare badge as you can see i didn't put anything special on her no exclusive uh, badge no exclusive adornment she still performs very very good at max level so let's move on to the main main team so everybody has frost or frost uh, he gives frost or frost damage in any other way let's start with rin rin's parts is going to be quick set my initial build of rin was mainly ultimate but i switched to quick set because her lifesteal is keyed on her combo with her basic attack so again um i'm switching this out because she performs better here she survives better here and i don't see you know i don't see anything wrong 
with switching from ultimate to quick set if you still want to do an ultimate set it's it's not a problem it's it's your preference but for me at this time i prefer her with a quick set so she also has a eternal phantom badge and she has here um for this is for vanguard so this is not an exclusive for her and that's how she is built okay so moving on to her her companion in the front we have here ayane okada so ayane and i love this girl um <clears throat> very all around i i'm not sure why she's in she's in galatea but at least she does give a lot of help to galatea at this point i equipped her with defensive set and lifesteal set to keep her dishing out those uh, there's frost in the in the front plus accuracy is high so that she could she could continue dealing frost as you know the, the higher the higher her accuracy uh, she can the the, per, the higher the percentage that she can deal frost that is why she has an accuracy uh, badge and this is her um, exclusive adornment so reduces damage taken during her ultimate okay so that is it for ayane we will go next to Vazarin, my girl. The girl that literally made me play this game. <laughs> okay, so parts, she of course has ultimate and also she has crit to maximize her damage output. She has end time frost badge, of course, and this is just actually a bonus. I don't have an adornment for her, so you could just feel free to equip any other adornment there, guys. And the next one would be Zephyr. Zephyr, of course, um, same build as before. Built her with all HP. Then you have Eternal Eden badge, same as Mako. And she has here an ex uh, exclusive enhancer for helper. So periodically, he periodic healing also re restores 5 energy and reduces the next damage taken by 20. So again, nothing special. I just built them with the specific gear that they need. And moving on to Empress, which I maxed her out at 5 diamonds already. As you can see here, her gear is nothing special. The same way I built her in the video is still the same. So with um, Ultimate, you have here your Ultimate Power plus 40 for your 4-piece Ultimate parts. Then you have here Crit plus 10. So you have to make the most out of her bonuses. She has plus 30, plus 30. So again, it's a lot, guys. So she she's good. Um, by the way, this one, the end time ultimate badge, you can use this badge as long as you don't have the one that I recommended before. This really, really is one of the best badges, even if it's a purple rarity. For those who hit hard on ultimates, this is one of the best to equip your figure. So do not hesitate to use this one. And I'm using her adornment, which is uh, this is boost all damage by 10% for 7 seconds. Whenever an ally uh, lands a crit and also frauds the target for 7 seconds. So again, she packs a punch, I tell you. Um... Do not really hesitate to to level her up to five diamonds because she is a very nice investment, guys. A very nice support to have. And she actually really bolsters your Frost team at this point. So do not hesitate. Get her. Frost teams now have a good, you know, good roster to build around. So those are my um, figures for my Frost team. So... What do you think? Would this Frost team be of you know interest to you guys? And put your comments down in the comment section. Let's discuss. So again, this is the Warden. Thank you. Stay safe. Take care.